Mindfulness. It's starting to show up in schools. The general population sees the physical, psychological, and social benefits. So of course we should be all for this, right? I'm Rob from As a Teacher with a warning about why meditation in schools might actually be a bad idea in some cases. Look, I meditate. I am not anti-meditation. In theory, mindfulness or meditation brings you closer in touch with the present moment, allowing the unsettled, muddy waters of your distracted mind to clear a little. This doesn't guarantee that what is here and now is pleasant. Here's my warning. Meditation in schools is largely being used as medication for sedation. Some school administrators are praising meditation programs because students are more calm and less disruptive and helping them to focus more on things like standardized test preparation. I think it's bullshit to introduce student meditation simply to make people easier to control and have them put up less of a fuss against garbage educational practices. Meditation should enliven students, not put them to sleep. If we want to introduce meditation practices authentically, yes, we can appreciate that for some students, a few minutes of focusing on the breath does center and help reduce anxiety or impulsiveness. But we also have to be open to the idea that students may become aware of how much they don't want to be doing what they're doing, how what they are doing is affecting them, and how what's being presented isn't serving them as a human being. After our morning mindfulness practice in my class, I give students a chance to chat with someone near them for a few moments to decompress and share what they experienced, and provide a bit of time for a whole class discussion about what came up. Mindfulness for the sake of sedating? That's not cool. Mindfulness to help students get centered, clear, and then act? That is legit and actually serves kids now and in the future. Are we willing to remain present to students who are tuned into their experience, even if that challenges the status quo? If not, why? If being open to challenging the status quo as a teacher speaks to you, like, share, comment, or subscribe. I'm Rob from As a Teacher. Thanks for watching.